Hi. Hi, friends. This is Manu Dhanasi. Today on uh, June 15th, 2018, I'd like to talk about topic historical introduction of GG, greater good, good governance, global good, etc., etc. See, actually, the GG, good governance has become a very, what to say, uh, not so popular topic in the world today. Well, also, the world peace. Because uh, we can't let that happen. Because uh, ultimately, our home earth should should be a good good home, good home or good earth or good planet for uh, rest of the universe. Only then we can restore the honor and goodness in our earth. So for this idea, for this promoting the goodness only in 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 2015, United Nations introduced the global goals. Uh, Founding global goals, and the, in that first point is no poverty. So it's one of the greatest idea. So based on that only we have started working seriously on this GG. See, if, if you look at GG, the you can cat the you, you can categorize the name into oh, in, 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 into timeline. For example, the among the uh, among the GG, the one G belongs to year 2014, and another G belongs to year 2015. Because uh, in 2014, uh, Good Governance Day was introduced by Indian government on December 25th, and uh, Guardians of Galaxy one movie was movie was released, and in 2015. Uh, Global goals was released by United Nations in in September 2015, and also in May 2015, uh, Greater Good movie, Spokes Greater Good movie was released. So this is a breakthrough year for GG. Since then only we have organized everything we are doing under this GG brand. Previously we are working for United Nations, World Peace, Universal Friendship, United Humanity, so many projects. Uh, even before GG also, we introduced a project called 9th, M 9th MDG, 9th Millennium Development Goal. Uh, this we introduced uh, in early 2000s, 2010s. So even before GG, we started working for GG, but we didn't uh, officially call ourselves GG. But after this 2015, 2015 only called ourselves GG. So see, the GG is not a new concept. The, the founding of universe itself is a GG because uh, if you look at the Bible, the Bible says, let there be light. The first uh, first stanza of the Bible, first, uh, Genesis chapter 1.3. Let there be light when the God created the heavens and earth. Uh, so that's the founding of GG. Scientifically, if we say, we can say it's uh, 13 billion years ago or 4.5 billion years ago on earth. So these are all evidence for, 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 for 13 billion years. Uh, the GG was run by Mother Nature and by good good people of good good ancestors and good, you know, good predecessors. But uh, what is the current state of GG? in world today that's the big question we are working on so so, so anyone new, new to gg or uh, looking at new uh, gg from first fresh perspective they may get confused towards gg so for that to become to 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 become easy to get things clear we have introduced today we have introduced uh, the gg calendar because ultimately the uh, if you look at the uh, history of the universe 13 billion years our, right now we are in 2018 how we get how this is called 2018 because See, our ancestors created a time, timeline, timeline because uh, B.C., A.D., I mean, before Christ, after the death, or, so the, that's a timeline uh, based on Jesus Christ's life. So Jesus Christ, on the great day Jesus Christ died, it's called Good Friday because uh, he, he died for greater good of uh, for, of universe and his citizens. That's why it's called Good Friday and that's, so that's the founding of, one of the founding of G.G. So timeline itself was created founding of, based on founding of G.G. only. This is a big breakthrough. This is a gift given by our uh, good people of past ancestors. So our ancestors gave, gave us DG. But uh, this, this, is a, this should not be a difficult story or complex story to understand. So only we have created a one-page calendar about this uh, entire DG. So, so I posted this in Facebook today, on Facebook or internet today. I have a copy of it right now for you. Maybe you can check it like this. It will be like this. So, see, we categorized all the, uh, in, in GG calendar, we categorized all 12 months into separate GG months. For example, if you look at the first month, uh, January month, we call it Republic Day month. Because that uh, our ancestors, see, US government is based on principle of Republic. Indian government is based on principle of Republic. See, our ancestors gave our government based on Republic. But how far look, it's uh, working right now? Because... Republic is uh, supports a democracy, but right now moneycracy um, uh, is trying to overtake the democracy, the interest of the people. So to emphasize the republic and uh, majority of uh, people, only we are we have made the first month as republic, republic month. Second month, if you see international law month, 
ultimately gg is about unconditional love so you are happy to serve without uh, expecting profit or anything in return because that's how that's how ancestors built temples see if in, in in india there are a lot of temples in world there are a lot of churches they didn't build a church to make a profit they 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 built it to give a good life and good globe that's called gg in in fact uh, we will call this churches and temples like we call god's governance so this is also gg so the <coughs> and third third month we call it gender gender equality month based on women's day so we believe all, sh- all should be given equal opportunity uh, we cannot uh, uh, allow the rich getting richer and poor getting poorer uh, and the fourth month is uh, uh, earth day month see um, ultimately see the biggest funder of gg is mother nature only okay well, it's not about uh, printing money in the earth money in the earth very small comparing the vastness and the size of the universe mother nature is only the number one funder and founder and founder of gg so emphasis is that only we made and fifth month is workers day month see ultimately the few are who are the leaders of the gg ultimately the workers of citizens citizens and workers of the universe are the leaders of gg so fifth month is workers day month sixth month environment month june 5th is environmental day so environment see ultimately gg is about the definition of gg greater good is about uh, how uh, how the environment get benefits not just see if and how the that's a good, see greater good versus one good greater good means environment good one good means our selfish good so this is how the gg okay so then fifth, sixth month seventh month uh, llph month life liberty pursuit of happiness liberty pursuit of happiness this is based on uh, government funding founding principles in united states of america so see go the purpose of government is not to print my primary purpose not to print money or or to uh it uh, is not to print money or to print, create inflation it's to secure the life liberty and citizens who voted for them we want to emphasize this see, seventh month is friendship day see friendship is the uh, most beautiful thing in universe uh, we see we, we have to judge uh, uh, market capitalization of company by friendships uh, that's why we emphasize and for, and uh, september month is uh, peace month peace month okay see universal peace is the ultimate uh, mission of uh, gg and the seventh month is unity month we have a unity united nations day in uh, october and also we have national unity day last week of uh, october is national unity day in india so you know unity month seventh month is children's day month we have a national children's day on november 14th right? university children's day on uh, november 20th so it's a uh, children's month and last month december is universal rights month universal we have because the, the proudest achievement of uh, humanity on earth is universal declaration of human rights the rights is uh, for everyone in universe that's one of the proudest achievement it's not it's just opposite to selfish achievement so the uh, this given by ancestors uh, so we want to emphasize that so so this uh, this is uh, see anyone if looking at this graph uh, for first time just a single page you can get a entire entire history and geography of gg in just a glance in just a, within a minute so only we emphasize so that's it see ultimately the gg should uh, belongs to the uh, the owners and the universe owners and the control belongs to the citizens of the universe so ultimately up to us to uphold the gg if you want to ensure that if our planet should be a good planet uh, we have to uh, uh, do something good for a globe that's the called gg anyone doing good for see just because i'm having a website or ha- having a name with gg or having a business card gg doesn't mean make me a gg person really uh, i should should uh, anyone who really makes the gg works in the world for example look at pope francis by see him many people are d- becoming good or uh, he drives the gg he never has uh, any any website in the name of gg but however he drives the good globe forward that kind of in- invisible spirit uh, what truly G- truly gg means so overall uh, i request everyone that uh, see ultimately the highest quality of humanity is uh, based on how we how we, how we are helpful careful serving that's the highest value highest net worth it's not uh, how how much money we have or uh, uh, how, how much we have accomplished for personally personal achievement the achievement see we all the same humanity we all same team so how, how will we contribute for rest of the members in our team uh, how well we make their life better how well they we help the future generations uh, to survive and succeed that's all makes the collective all this thing we call it call it a good globe uh, gg that's what the united nations introduced global goals if 17 points if you look uh, no poverty first point no poverty first of all there are a lot of in, in currently there is 7.7 billion people in the world there are a lot of poverty in the world we have to eliminate it at least reduce it so let's work together thanks for your care